Hi y'all and welcome to today's episode. I'm glad you're here because you want to know how to make this awesome fox stool. Now I showed you this fox stool in a previous episode on four things that sell really well and I'll put a link to that video right here and also in the description below but I'm here to tell you that I finally have plans for you to make this stool. There's plans and also a template that you can get and I'll put a link to both of those in this video and below so you have them if you're interested. Well, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step on how to make this little guy. He's a lot of fun and you'll really enjoy the techniques that we're gonna do to make this stool and I'll show you how to paint him and everything you need to know. If that's something you're interested in learning, stick around because we're about to get started. All right, so we're gonna be using uh, some wood to make this stool. You can use pine, a one, uh, it's a one by or a three quarter inch board, or you can use plywood, this is a sheet of plywood. You can make it out of either materials, it really doesn't matter, the choice is yours. The next thing that you're gonna need is some paint, and I'll put a link in the description to the different colors that I have. This is your orange, this is your beige, and this is your black, and you're gonna need all three of these colors to paint your stool, as well as some masking tape. Uh, but before we get started, I wanna show you what I have here. Now this is my original template that I made for my fox stool. I hand illustrated this, and these are the legs. Uh, this is the tail. And this is the head and the body. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stencil all of this out and we're gonna cut it out. Now, you can use two methods to cut this. You can use a scroll saw or a band saw. Now, I originally, when I first cut this, I used a scroll saw because I didn't have a band saw. Now, with a scroll saw, if that's all you have available, you have to go really slowly because you don't wanna break your blades. A bandsaw is really one of the best ways to cut this out. Now, if you have neither of those, neither a scroll saw or a bandsaw, you can use a jigsaw. So really there are three ways to cut this out. However, I would recommend using a bandsaw as your number one choice, a scroll saw as your number two, and if you don't have any of those, you can always use a jigsaw. All right, well let me lay these out and we're gonna cut everything. So I've cut all the pieces for my stool. It's now time to head over to my sander and sand everything. Okay, so after you've finished sanding your pieces for your stool, you need to apply the base coat to three pieces. And the base coat that we're gonna be using is beige. Now this is really important because the beige is an accent color and you wanna lay that down first. For our fox, that's gonna be right here and we're only gonna do that on one side. Now for the tail, this is a little different. We're gonna be spray painting the entire tail beige and that means all sides. The other part that we're gonna be doing is the plate or the top of the stool. We're gonna be painting beige just on one side and that's because it's supposed to represent the belly of the fox. Well, let's go spray these and then we'll move on to adding all the little details and I'll show you exactly the tips and tricks that I have used to create this character. Mm -hmm. 